Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM1019, and guys, it's happening. We finally made it to the curse of Monkey Island. This is where Monkey Island really started getting interesting, at least it did for me. So again, I never played 1 and 2 when it originally came out, it was before my time. Um, Monkey Island 3 was around 1997, and I played that, I played this maybe five years later or so, I can't quite remember, but, <coughs> excuse me, this is a fantastic game, the animation this game for its time was absolutely beautiful, we're talking Don Bluth quality, hand-drawn animation for this entire game, and it is amazing, the humor's still all there, it's wonderful, I can't wait to play this with you guys, um, a couple things, do not attempt to adjust your, your YouTube screen, um, when setting this up and getting ScumVM ready to play this game, I had to make a few decisions. And um, in order to maintain some of the quality and the original aspect, uh, basically just not to make things look too weird, I decided to record this game in its original 4x3 aspect ratio. So, no, you're, you're not seeing, you're not misseeing things. The view tube player is a little smaller for this video because I am recording it in a 4x3 ratio because it will not play in 16x9. If I force it to play in 16x9, it will look a little weird. Everything will be stretched. Guybrush will look fatter than he is. Uh, we don't want that. So I am, I've uh, employed the use of, uh, of a upscaler to try and make this as beautiful as I possibly could. It's an old game, so it's going to look a little rough around the edges. We haven't figured out an upscaler to make this game look absolutely beautiful, but it's in 4x3, and that's why you're looking at a square video. All right, now that we got that out of the way, one more bit of housekeeping. For your viewing pleasure, I am playing this on Mega Monkey Mode. This has all the puzzles. I think I remember most of them. Let's get to it. That old THQ uh, parody. The monkeys are listening. LucasArts, here we go. in the Caribbean, Monkey Island. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight <laughs> off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? 
Am I? I've turned on the subtitles for everyone. You're welcome. Here we go, boys. See if I remember some of the dialogue for the uh, the <laughs> the cutscenes. I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Blast be your hair, woman! Blast be your hair, woman! <laughs> Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? <laughs> you know, I don't think my Fire father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! <laughs> what do you mean? Ah. Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. <laughs> Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blade! No. <laughs> ah! Ooh, the lass has spirit. -y. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Alright. So the part one, the demise of the zombie pirate LeChuck. 
All right, so thus begins another tale of Guybrush and the his fearsome foe, uh, the zombie pirate Lechuk. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door. Well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! All right, so, if you're just joining us, Guybrush has inexplicably dogs. escaped from the Carnival of the Damned. This'll make you rue the day! It's not really expanded on how he did it. All we know is that he did. He got out of it. So, let's see. Prepare for your doom! First things first, we need to get out of this room. This rod looks helpful. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to this guy. You drink bilge water, and your mother's dress you funny! Stay away! Um... Okay. Arr! Aye! Um, you wearing a fake beard? Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on parrot, I've become <laughs> a vicious corsair. Audio you can books on too. parrot. Ask me how. <laughs> uh, do you have any literature? Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Um, I'm not in the mood for sales. I'm not in the mood for sales. I. Uh, what are his plans? What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon, some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort, so his crew can overrun the island. Uh, what's behind the door? What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hole. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Yeah, that's not how it works. Um, set me set free, me Wally. Free, Wally. I can't, Mister Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. Uh, snap out of snap it. Snap out of it, Wally. That's Bloodnose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish! One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in! Oh yeah? Peep. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab! One more word, and I'll let you have it! Word. Word. That's it! I'm gonna blast you! I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> I'm... I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, there, there. All right, well, Wally's gonna need a moment. Let's, uh, you go use his cannon. Yeah. Well, this could be fun. I could take a few... I could also take a few pot shots at the fort, but... I don't know. Watch where you shoot it! are you on? Not yours. You're gonna get us all killed! 
fucking... Oops. Oop, I hit the fort. It's like you're not one of the <laughs> That's right, I'm not. The fault, you fool! I... Ah. That was me. Uh, sorry. God. Uh, sorry What's about it? that. Wally, when we get back to the boat, you're gonna be in trouble! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. I could probably use this. Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna take this ramrod and use it. Oh, this has to be used with something else. I don't need to wear a hook. Wait a minute. I Can... have two good hands. How do I... Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. We made a gaff. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Floating skull. <laughs> well, they messed with the wrong skull. It's time. Murray. Can I call you Can Bob? Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. Yay, I Murray! Am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom, and the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll <laughs> through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? Oh, everyone loves Murray. You look great with a melting candle on you your know, forehead. You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. I'm not. No, I am, really. <laughs> really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Um, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. <laughs> You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. Uh, was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. <laughs> well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. Yeah, and accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. <laughs> now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> All right. Good talking to you, Murray. Let's take this gaff. Get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands, period. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Uh, no, it's mine now. Ah, well, I guess I'll In fact, on the bright side of this. here, have a nice day. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't need to do that, it's just kind of fun. Alright, ba back in we go. Well, we got a new cutlass, let's use the restraint, use it on the restraint rope. Cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. All right, that rope is done. Let's take another shot at the cannon. <coughs> now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh, no! Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. All right, so, the LeChuck appears to be dead now, but we've also capsized the ship. Uh, there's a hole up here. Let's see if, if we can find anything uh, useful in this room. I believe that there is a portrait, a music box. 
Can I use the music box? It got broken when the ship capsized. Oh, that's a shame. There's a bag here. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Well, that might come in handy. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. That might come even in even more handy. So I don't know if you know this about diamonds, but they rank at the top of the Mohs hardness scale, which means we could probably use this to cut this window. Yep, that worked. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. <laughs> um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leaves Rush, me. stop babbling. <laughs> Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo ring in place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... Well... All right, part two, the curse gets worse. Oh no, Elaine? She's not gonna be happy about this. I'd argue she's already not happy, Guybrush. Okay, so we have mistakenly turned Elaine into a golden statue. The journey begins to figure out how we can help her. Uh, there's a glowing ember here, can I pick this up? Ooh, I guess so. Okay, secret button. I want to push the secret button. Fun. <laughs> Fun. Okay. All right, let's get on with it. Let's go this way. We've got a lot of looking around to do. Okay, every once in a while I might double-click just to make Guybrush move a little bit faster. Okay, so there's the fort where we left. Uh, let's go into Puerto Palo. Alright, so... We've got a lot to do. Let's see if we can... Open door. Closed. Come back later. Oh, I... But you don't understand. I need help. It's an emergency. A hair emergency? No. My, my girlfriend... It, well, no, actually, I suppose she's my fiancé now. Although, I guess she never really said yes. Because the curse kind of stopped her in mid-sentence. Uh, curse? Did you say curse? You'll want to see the voodoo lady. Oh, right. She handles curses. Why did I want to go to Pearl Palo so bad? All right, I need to go to... Uh, I need to go see the voodoo lady. Uh, she is... Where was she again? Was she over here? No, this is the beach. Hang on, I'll get this right. I gotta remember where she is. Oh, it was in this marsh. Here we go. Alright. Boom! Ah. <laughs> oh, hello, Murray. Oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. 
darkness will envelop you. <laughs> How'd you get up How'd there? How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time, thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to Do help you, you need down? Me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you, foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. Well, okay. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right, I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike <laughs> in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. <laughs> All right, well, I'd love bye. To in chat, but uh, I gotta go. All right, we're gonna move in here. All right, so take this pin. What a relief! <laughs> okay, uh, there's a gumball machine. Admiral Sweetum spit o jerky bubble gum. Five cents. Hey, I have wood nickels. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Nice. Okay. Let's pull this tongue. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with the second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. <laughs> I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroot. I'm starting to remember. I kind of did that myself. And then again by helping you prepare <laughs> a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. You've helped so much, and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I got some stories to tell Boy, you. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. <laughs> but I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. <laughs> nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Um, no. No, please, no. For the love of all that is good and holy, no. <laughs> Perhaps later. <laughs> yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. God, something terrible game. has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. Well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. <laughs> Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Uh. 
Oh, shoot. You left her out there on the beach, didn't you? You make it sound so... incompetent. Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you're too late. Welp. Elaine! I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. It looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. <laughs> Where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Uh... <laughs> uh huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. <laughs> All right, how do I get there? How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. <coughs> map, ship, and crew. Got it. Okay, let's see. How will I find the ring? Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. You'll come Blood with me, island right? sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. <laughs> I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still in escrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but who will explain away gaping plot holes? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Blood Island, here I come. All right. Well, let's see. Um. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. All right. Uh, can I finally destroy him? Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. All right. I'm sick of talking about him. Oh, wait a minute. I want to know when about I this. I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. Foreshadowing! You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. 
Okay. I'm sick of talking about that jerk with Chuck. Uh, let's see. Okay. Thanks for your I think help. that's enough. Gotta go. So, again, I know a lot of these puzzles. I'm kind of talking to these characters a little more than I usually do for just some some backstory and stuff. So let's see. Uh, so we're done there. To Porto Palo. All right, the door to the to the uh, barber shop's open. <coughs> Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second. Did I just share too much? Okay. So, not a lot we can do in here, but we can probably talk to this salty pirate here. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. So? So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name, Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't <laughs> it? Um, let's see. Say, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. <laughs> he doesn't talk a whole lot. Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect. I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. Uh, well, I mean, I defeated Pi the... I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. I'm the Lechuck. mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for him? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure. Immense mounds of gold and diamonds, solid gold scepters of power, anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. Okay, so this guy wants some gold to be persuaded to join us, so You're we'll right. have to come back to that. Sorry to bother you. About that jawbreaker, though. You know... I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. Oh. Oops. That can't be right. Uh, here, let me help you out there, pal. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing, really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on. Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. <laughs> nah. Okay, well. That's gonna come in somewhat handy. Alright, let's leave for now. Okay. So... Let's check out this side of the island. Um, okay, so I'm actually Yeah, I can I can get this part started. Do you have a reservation? Nay, I do not. Uh, no. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go! Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can't do that yet. Okay, gonna have to come back. Let's, uh... Let's go into this area here. Looks like a nice coat. With just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. Dandruff, huh? You better look again. That's weird. I didn't think dandruff moved. Oh. Lice. Well, as disgusting as it is to do this. 
Yes, we have lice in our inventory now. Okay, let's leave. Um, but, I bet we could use that to our advantage. You see, we can't do anything until we get Captain Rottingham out of that chair. So what if... Use the lice with the comb. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons! What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin! The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas! That's a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. <laughs> this calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, you'll ruin my hair! <laughs> <laughs> nice moves. What's your name? Ahoy there. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. Uh, how'd you become a pirate, a uh, barber pirate? How did you become a barber pirate? I spent ten years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a clipper ship. Ah. <laughs> so you started the salon? So you started the salon. Aye, but not on the own. I grew to love hairstyling so much that I told two of my best friends about it. And then they told two friends. Aye, and they told two friends, and so on and so on. Okay. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. Ah, there's no such thing. It's no proper to fool with the course of nature. Okay, cool. Well, uh... Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard the tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't want to hear this. Yeah, I changed my mind. I don't want to hear this. Uh, let's see. Some nice Those scissors. Sure are nice scissors. Hi, they're my best pair. They can cut through almost anything. Well, why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast, the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Can I borrow Can them? Can I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? Sorry, no. They're much too valuable to me. You know they can cut through almost anything. Yes, I believe you mentioned that. Hmm. Honor system, then. Uh, would you like to join How my crew, Haggis? Like join my crew. You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Uh... The 500-meter bucket full of heavy rocks relay? No, I'm talking about the traditional highland display of strength and virility. The caber toss. Oh, but in school I was always picked last for caber tossing. Maybe it's because you weren't familiar enough with the sport. You see, the caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. And I watch cable television. <laughs> Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Okay, well, uh, let's talk about that later. Ah, toss this. Uh, I could use a haircut. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Okay, he's going to start looking at this book. We can probably distract him if we play with this handle a little bit. Maybe if I kick... I'm afraid he might cut my no, ear off if I get not that. Up. The paperweight. How, I don't know how he didn't notice that. Oh, 
blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. Okay, he's gone, so let's play with this hand a little bit more. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, get back in the seat. I need to be sitting in the chair. Sit in the chair. Okay. And we'll take the scissors. Okay. I searched the whole island, and I couldn't have find a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. Okay, so we've got a rock, and we got a pair of scissors. Let's see. We'll go for maybe a few more minutes here. <clears throat> Let's bring ourselves over this way. Okay, a bunch of mysterious flowers. Looks like there might be a path back here. Let's see if we can cut these flowers. Cut This plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Hmm. As a purgative, you say? Okay, let's keep cutting these. Path has been cleared. There's a pirate ship over there. Looks like a bunch of neat stuff here, too. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Welp. Well, this isn't good. Well, this is a fine mess we've gotten ourselves in. All right, I suppose this is a good place as any to stop for now. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I can't wait to go through the rest of this journey. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and me at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Until next week, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.